homelessness continues to be a major issue in NYC. What initiatives are being pursued to provide both short-term and long-term solutions, particularly in addressing mental health services for the homeless? That's a great question. So, first of all, I think that uh, I believe that 90% of homeless people need mental uh, uh, have mental health uh, problems. So, you know, creating those shelters. First of all, why are we creating shelters? Why are we building shelters in a nice, wealthy neighborhoods? Why we are you know, making the lives of these people problematic. Why we're dropping the cost of the houses in these neighborhoods. Ask any person if they want to have a homeless shelter next to their house. I doubt anyone would say yes. Absolutely not. So, uh, first of all, I think those shelters have to have to be built in the industrial neighborhoods. Secondly, I strongly believe that uh, uh, shelters have to provide mental uh, mental health. I understand it's not easy, it's not simple, but this is the only way to uh, cure this this problem. Uh, and we need to treat homeless people with respect, but at the same time, we have to understand these people are mentally sick. At least, at least 90 percent of them. Maybe even, maybe even 95. And we have to try to help these people, not just giving this, them temporary. Uh, shelter for one night. We need to cure these people. We need to try to help these people, but not making uh, other people's lives miserable when we are doing that. So we need a totally different approach to that problem other than the approach that we have right now. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It simply doesn't work.